Alright, I'm back up from getting my resources and I got quite a bit. I've got three and a half stacks of sand, um, two and a half more stacks of dirt, my one little gravel, lone gravel that I'll need, and lots and lots of clay. Now, really two choices there. I can bake that into bricks and uh, make some nice, a nice brick house or something, or I can actually combine that back just into clay blocks um, and use that just as a raw um, building material. So I may do some of each. Um, I'm going ahead and take all of this sand. I don't need, think I'll need quite that much. Take some dirt so I can move around when I get to the top. Uh, I'm going to eat a mushroom stew. And I think I'll take a couple of apples with me. Maybe a couple of rotten flesh, because I'm getting up that high with all the jumping. Um, that takes it out of you. So the emergency chest is way up in the sky. I can't even see it from where we're at. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build, I guess from this edge over here, it should let me jump down into the water. Um, get through with the whole process and I'm going to need a half slab to put on it. Ah, shoot. Alright, actually, make it the whole process easier to get down from. Um, first of all, I don't want to put it right on the edge. I'll probably lose it. Lose too much. I'll scoot in a little bit here. Alright, and I like to put two dirt on the bottom. Um, that's going to make it much easier for me to knock this whole thing down when I'm done. Carefully creep out here. All right. Ah, some of these textures are new to me. Help is here. I thought about just taking down what I need, but I think I'm going to go ahead and take everything and stick it into an emergency chest. Not intending to use it, but um, that'll save me some hopping if I ever have to um, do something like this again mushroom, we got our villager spawner since we need more mushrooms, saplings, obsidian, birch saplings, spruce, diamond ore, and travel saplings. Alright, so this whole section is kind of off limits. I'm going to put that all in a chest and keep it safe. I'm kind of curious what this says though. 
help is here. Feel free to take anything from either of these dispensers and use them as you wish. Feel free even to take the dispensers. If you'd like an extra challenge, feel free to destroy the dispensers and throw them and their contents in the sea. Well, I kind of need some of the things. Alright, what I do not want to do is leave this dirt up here in the air. check. That is the way of certain death. That is the ocean. So we'll go down the fast way. Woo! don't have enough room in my inventory if those were all to uh, drop at the same time. So, let me go ahead and uh, stash my stuff. Um, let's take some jungle slabs. I don't have anything in my jungle biome over here, so I'll just stick it over here. We got four tree types. We shouldn't need those. We got oodles of those. Ooh, we got the good stuff. Diamond ore, lapis, coal, redstone. Cocoa, mushroom, obsidian, and villagers. Put most of those back. Right, I'm going to eat an apple or two. <gasps> Hello. That is not what I meant to do. Alright, you. Let's try not to make the best, same mistake here. Alright. If I put a... block here... I do that. What's he got? Cooked pork chop. went up and over. Let's use the second one here. All right, we got paper. That is good news. The count is um, not great, but that should get me some initial supply of emeralds. And I guess I can buy some pork chops if I want to. But I got my village working back. I'm still on hard difficulty, so I'm going to need to keep my ear out for any zombie mobs. Um, the difference now is, as I talked about before, my doors are all on the outside, so any um, zombie mobs should come there. And the inside is lit up. Speaking of lit up. Alright. Oh, we've got some ocelots there. I don't have any fish at the moment, but I do have some strings, so maybe I'll go fishing. 
I think I'm going to check my um, mob trap as well. See if there's anything happening here. I can hear something. I'm falling down. Let's knock that thing down before we forget about it. trick with the two dirt blocks is I can drop this bottom one, I can lay a torch underneath it, I'm going to position myself on the edge here so that as everything falls, it doesn't go over the edge. Stacks of sand falling all at once. That's enough for one show. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.